everybody today we're going to be making a little notebook um, like this one that I made for our Lawn Fawn Inspiration Week and it's it's just a little composition book this one actually came in a pack of four uh, I believe this one was red before I put paper on it um, from Target I think I, I found some more at Target that was a little pack of two these have a rounded corner um, so it just depends on what you can find to do this out of. It can also be a bigger book. I know that a lot of times there are ones in dollar bins at Michael's or Target um, that have like a hard bag or even a, a paper bag. This one is paper. It's a little over three inches wide and looks like four and a half tall. So um, any you can do this to any size of little notebook. But today we're going to do this little tiny one. And we're gonna, and I'll show you how I did the pin too, and and where I got that from. So the first thing we're gonna do is I'm I'm gonna cover this in um, the notebook pattern paper that's from the new uh, Dewey Decimal Six by Six Petite Paper Pack. And I'm actually not going to cover it the whole width I'm going to leave some of the binding and I'll show you what I'm going to do with the binding in just a second so since this is a 6x6 I'm just going to make the most out of my paper and I'm going to cut it right down the center at 3x3 three three. and then I can use one for the front and one for the back so I'm going to set that aside and um, you could leave you could leave the binding the black tape that it has if you want this is kind of what it would look like. But this particular collection doesn't really have any black colors in it. It, it has more browns. And so I'm going to cover it with some washi tape. And I did that here. And I suggest using a solid tape. Because a lot of times the ones that have patterns, if it's a white pattern, you can see the color through it. Um, so I'm going to use this solid orange. And this is the um, infamous orange tape from Target that came in a pack of four and they put them on clearance I swear as soon as they were stocked so it was really hard to get your hands on but if you have it it actually matches the Dewey Decimal almost perfectly so but if you don't there's lots of other solid colors out there I actually have a solid kind of dark teal color that that works pretty well with the papers I think but I'm gonna go with orange today but anyway, I just suggest doing a solid. And I'm going to put a few layers on this. I'm just going to rip it a little longer than it actually is. And I'm going to actually start out here. have our binding down and it's important to do this part first because we're going to cover it up so always work from whatever is the bottom layer forward now to make a good seal I'm not going to use a tape runner or anything I'm going to use the Claudine Helmless Studio Multimedia in the mat down really good make sure you don't have any of this on your fingers when you do because it'll leave you know a dirty mark probably you can always put another piece of paper on top and do this and then I'm going to repeat the same process on the back so this is kind of set for a few minutes um, it doesn't take a long time for this stuff to dry and then I've cut this is this is from the 6x6 pad too. This is the paper with the books on it and I've just lined it up in my paper trimmer and just cut one of the shelves. So 
now I have these pieces down, I'm going to add one of the stickers from the sticker sheet. I'm going to add the sticker with the date stamp on it. I'm going to put it right about there. These are pretty sticky, um, but if maybe you've sort of pulled it off and moved it around to see where you want to lay out things and it's lost its sticky from you touching it, um, you might want to stick it down the same way we did the paper. It just depends on how sticky it is when you're ready to get it in its final position. And then I think we're going to um, we're going to use the check this out sentiment from the check this out set, the new check this out set. And I'm going to use um, the Splash Hero Arch Chalk Ink, which is actually a really great color that with this collection it um it matches it really well I think. Then I'm going to do a little heart here. And I'm gonna use Jenny Bowen Ranger chili powder to stamp the heart out because I think this red is pretty and then what I wanted to show you is actually um vintage photo distress stickles. I actually only had one kind of distress stickles and I thought hey that that color's similar to the acorn brown narrators and so I went and picked it up to see and I added it to this notebook after I had taken the pictures for the blog and I don't know if you can see it on there but it's a really nice complementing color to the brown um, the acorn brown narrators letters stickers so I'm just going to use some of that on here to give it a little added extra interest I'm going to use it on top of that brown of the date stamp. It looks goopy now, but actually the thing I really like about these stickles is the goopiness definitely goes away and all you're left with is that sparkly part. So that'll look way better when it dries. I'm going to add one more thing. So this is from Just My Type. There's a little paper clip. This is Memento Rich Cocoa. And it's actually a pretty good brown to match the browns in this collection as well. So I'm just going to add a little paper clip to the top. So you could actually put a real paper clip up there if you had one, but I don't, I don't actually have a real paper clip. So there. And then um, to add some embellishments to the inside, I mean you can do the back too, I'm not going to do the back today, but... Now this one I did some more strips on the back, but I have a Jenny Bolin punch that's the little tab, and I'm actually just going to punch a couple tabs out of some extra paper I had here. This is actually paper left over from when I made the bookmark, so it's on a backer, so they're going to be very sturdy tabs. I just found a pin that had a clear barrel on it and actually this one came from Target as well and it was in the dollar bins and like the ones I found today are icy pins. They, a lot of times they have little notebooks and stuff in the dollar bins and they have pins that match so I have two of these for a dollar and it doesn't matter what's on it because we're going to cover it up. Um, I've also seen people use this sort of pin. Um, a Pintel RSVP pin. You essentially all, all you need is a pin that has a clear barrel that you can take the bottom off and slide some paper inside. This one has a much smaller place to put paper. These are pretty cool if you can find them. The reason why is take off the top and instead of trying to curl a piece and shove it in the barrel like you would have to on one, on this one the barrel actually comes off and so what I did is I cut a piece to the right length I think this one's slightly short actually but we're going to use it anyway and then to make it a little easier I 
I got myself a piece of double stick. This is American Crafts tape. I guess you could use score tape. I don't actually have a score tape. I'm going to cut off the end. tight but if you just push it down on there it should go and it didn't really matter that it was too short because the part that goes down in the barrel actually covered it up so and then you have a pin to match your new notebook which makes a cute little gift I think so there you have it thanks for watching bye